Hello, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make a choke like this or like this one. So let's start with a simple one, simple nice and shiny one. To build this one all you need to have is a piece of uh, thin sheet metal like this. I used a, a paint thinner can for this one but you can use maybe hair products can, WD-40 can and uh, so on and so on. So as you can see it's a quite nice fit around it, tight fit. And all you have to do is take a wing nut. Oh, come on, come on. Well, you get the picture. So, uh, how to determine the slot length for this one? Well, it's very simple. First, you measure your port intake. This is 60 millimeters. And then add uh, another 15 or 10 or however far you made this hole. And you get uh, 75 millimeters, as you can see. That's your slot length. Width, of course, would be the same as the width of the screw. In this case, it's 5 millimeters. Then add 10 more from each side. You can add uh, 15. It's just uh, there to completely seal the... Come on. To seal the entrance the intake of this air port when you lift up the burner lid and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this one I made uh, with the super glue. I folded over this sheet metal as you can see and I glue it with uh, super glue and then I folded over the side. You can add five millimeters for that. I will show you the method that I discovered, but it was too late for this piece. Maybe on the other one I will use it. Basically what you do, you take a round piece of steel like this. It can be nail, it can be screwdriver, it can be anything. And then you go like this. First put your thumb here and then shove this stick inside and then just go in circle like that. And that will fold this metal nicely over. You can make a flare like this, that way. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it for this one. Very nice, very simple to do. Oh, and when I put it over the pipe, like that, all I did was I used these uh, hose clamps, I put it together, and then I removed one by one, and then I just used the super glue and glue it in segments. Easy way to do it that way. Well, that would be it for this one. And let's go to the, to this one. What's the difference between those two chokes? This one is flared, this one is not. Uh, the right one will have more control over the flame, the finer tuning. And uh, this one is uh, for more air intake. This one will suck more air in. Uh, you want to use that for maybe when you are melting aluminum in your furnace, for example. So, how to make this one? Well, for this one, I used my, as Duke Nuke would say, I've got the balls of steel. Well, what if you don't have balls of steel? Well, it sucks to be you. But don't worry, I have other method to do this. So, for this one, all I did was I heat up larger pipe than this one, one millimeter thick, I put it over and I hammered it. And you thought this was a clickbait. I don't do clickbaits on this channel. So that was very simple, heat it up, put it around the ball and heat it. Well, if you don't have a giant ball like this one, you can use another method. And uh, the method is you put uh, half an inch water pipe in your clamp, in your vise. Uh, mark 20 millimeters, put the pipe over it like that, heat up the segment and then uh, tilt it and hit it with your hammer, go around in circle and you will end up with a flare like this. So let's see uh, for the flare like this, uh, this is 40, 45 millimeters. So from 35 it went to 45 
Uh, what else to say? Oh, yeah. First one looked like this. I mean, look at this beauty. Come on. Isn't it perfect? <laughs> but yeah, I'm not a perfect man. So I uh, ended up with this one. I mean, look at these beautiful welds. Not even the Rolls Royce could do it better. When you fold this one over, just uh, don't forget to add one millimeter thickness of metal or you will end up with uh, pieces of pipe that you have to weld like I did. The original uh, thought was that I will just make one millimeter uh, gap and just put one weld. But uh, fate had other plans, so I ended up with uh, welding segments of pipe that I had from a previous band uh, because this was larger pipe than this one so when you weld it uh, around make sure to use the clamp method like I did but uh, also put the beer can shims because uh, as this weld uh, cools down it's going to shrink and uh, that's how you make uh, this one this flared nozzle uh, I, I added 20 millimeters as you can see here for the flare and then add uh, another 10 make our slot 75 and that's it well I think I said everything uh, oh well this is black oxide finish all I did was I put it in my small furnace my small uh, forge that I made I will show you maybe one day but I'm planning on building a large one so when I build more of these burners I, it will have two burners so when uh, you heat this one up to a red glow take a rag and soak it in linseed oil and just go like that the the rag may, might catch on fire but uh, just put it out and uh, you will end up with nice black oxide finish like this one you can use first motor oil and then linseed oil first use heat it up use motor oil then heat it up again and use linseed oil it will make it more black like this one is well i i think i said everything uh, hmm, let's see i know i forgot one thing oh yeah uh when working with sheet metal, if you uh, try to file this one, it will be a nightmare. But there is a simple trick that you can do. And uh, the trick is to put a piece of steel or piece of wood behind it. So let's say that this ruler is our uh, sheet metal. And uh, if you put a piece of steel behind it like this, maybe one or two millimeters and go in just one direction, just forward with your file, uh, you will have uh, easier, much easier time of filing it. Uh, it will remove material quick and without that uh, awful noise that it makes. Same thing goes for plywood. If you ever try to file plywood, you know that uh, it will chip like crazy on the other side, but if you use this method, uh, it will stay nice and true. Also, tape the piece of uh, duct tape or uh, painter's tape or uh, electrician tape and you will get even nicer and smoother cut. It won't rip the fiber out of it. So, I guess that would be it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye.